a grateful one. Joe Swinson. I thank the honourable gentleman uh, for giving way and congratulate him on securing this debate. He's making a, a strong case, as one would expect from a constituency MP on behalf of his constituents. But does he not accept that there might actually be some benefits for his constituents because the alternatives to high-speed rail are actually that people don't travel, or perhaps more likely that there's air travel or road travel which make up the journeys instead. And these have impacts both on the environment in terms of air pollution, for example, and indeed in terms of noise nuisance, some of which might actually affect his constituents as well. Well, I'm most grateful, Steve Baker. I'm most grateful to the Honourable Lady for her intervention, and I will return to some of those questions later on, and in particular the process of how we make that judgment between road, rail and air.